It's ironic. Boards recognise the importance of their role in relation to overseeing risk. Yet when you come to look at the origins of corporate failures, you find that it always points back to the board. With things like board skills and board's inability to see fundamental risks to the business regularly topping the bill. My firm has studied over 40 corporate crises affecting firms with pre-crisis assets north of $20 trillion. We saw value shredded on a prodigious scale as reputations crashed. And it was the same causal factors which occurred time and time again. This happens because both classically trained risk professionals and boards both struggle to deal with an important class of risk, the risks which come from human behavior. This risk has been around as long as mankind, but risk management has not yet evolved the techniques to cope with it. Many of these risks lie hidden or taboo, so it's hardly surprising that boards are unaware that there is a large hole in the risk management system to which they're ultimately responsible. One important problem is unknown knowns. There are things that boards need to know, but they can't find out. An extreme example is fraud. But information flows are regularly blocked by risks from culture, incentives, leadership, and organizational complexity. These are all things which have their origins in the board. A lack of people skills is also problematic. Those skills are not just essential for challenging the board effectively. Organizations are powered by people and far too little attention is given to the risks inherent in the way people interact with their environment, including their leaders, their colleagues, their teams, culture, incentives, and organizational structure. These are the areas which are the sources of behavioral and organizational risks.